On the morning of September 8, 1380, at Kulikovo, the Moscow-led Rus army defeated the Mongols for the first time. One of the key battles of the medieval age, it was a transformative event in the rise of Moscow as the future capital of Russia. For the first time, rival principalities had joined Moscow to fight a common enemy. Now, many Rus principalities began to see themselves as one. Future leaders of Moscow would draw on the memory of this battle to claim their supreme political position in Russia. Moscow's Grand Prince, Dmitry Ivanovich, had led the Rus principalities to victory over the Mongols, reinforcing his dominance. But for the Mongols' leadership, the defeat at the Battle of Kulikovo was disastrous. The ruler of their Golden Horde was overthrown by a descendant of Genghis Khan. His name was Toktamish. And Toktamish was not going to let the treacherous Moscow-led Rus get away with rebellion. Two years after their defeat at Kulikovo, Toktamish's Golden Horde set out to attack Moscow. The city had not felt the wrath of the Mongols for more than a century. That was about to change. Thirteen eighty-two, hold against the horde. Dmitri Donskoy had angered the Golden Horde. Thirsty for revenge, Toktamish Khan descended on the capital. Moscow would pay for his defiance. I remember Toktamish. We chased him around in the ta chased him around a lot in the Tatars campaign. The Age of Empires too. That was fun. We also teamed up with him in the uh, Lithuanian, no, Polish campaign. And let's see, achievement, 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 achievement. Yes, stop the Mongols from entering the outer city during Hold Against the Horde. Yeah, that's going to be a bit difficult on hard. All right, let's get to it. Racing to brace the gates of Moscow, Prince Dmitri and his army of Rus allies rushed into the fortified heart of the city. This would be the greatest test of Moscow's mighty stone walls. But could the capital hold out against the furious legion of the Golden Horde. The Muscovites had already faced many Mongol attacks on their city and knew the Horde would arrive in vast numbers. The race to fortify Moscow began. <laughs> Oh, I remember this. Early in his reign, Dmitri had purchased land surrounding Moscow. These vassal settlements provided Dmitri with taxes paid in gold, but could also supply reinforcements. If Dmitri chose to request reinforcements, he would lose the revenue from that settlement. Shh. 
Ковин Аказис, двигаюся. Скоро победи! Так а сделаем вот сейчас. Допуск... А? Дело исполнено есть! Варевник готов есть! Отрину, по скору! А? Скачу, куда велено есть! Направляюсь! Готово, трудитесь и есть. Рад и скажу. Люди, люди выступают. Люди! Приуготовляйтесь, овцы! As Dimitri urgently prepared the city's defenses, fleeing villagers from nearby towns flooded into Moscow, desperately seeking refuge from the rapidly approaching Mongol army. Oh boy. Right, let's get out of here. Actually, what did Ichima say again? From entering, prevent, stop the Mongols from entering the outer city. Is this? No, this is, I guess this is the inner city. This is the outer. So prevent them from coming in here at all. Okay. That's gonna be done well. Is there no gold? No, I guess we're just relying on tax. Oh, they're just going to houses. They're not going to even come for me out. It's just my income. Thanks. The refugees from the settlements surrounding Moscow had all arrived at the city. They would wait out the Mongol assault behind Moscow's stone walls. Some of you can go there. The other half can go to the hunting cabin. Over here is fine. Go that man. Стрела на тетиве есть. Из идите, слушай. Hopefully, stop them from entering the city in the first place. Работа ждет. Я поспешу. Hopefully, we can get some keeps up as well on time. Слушай, наказно. Слушай, слушаюся. Hearing the thunderous beat of the Mongol war drums on the horizon, Dmitri rallied his men to hold their ground. If the stone walls were breached, the city would fall. The question is where the is the coming from? I'm guessing over from the northeast. Because that makes sense. 
Next time I do this, I think the strategy is to build off blockades here, so the villagers can build. Дайте мне 
torches made short work of Moscow's wooden palisades, and now the old stone walls were all that stood between Dmitri and defeat. arrived at Moscow's gates. The Mongols rolled in their mightiest siege engines. With the heartbeat of Mongol war drums closing in, the Rus knew the horde would not relent.
Here, let's go back to Also, I probably could have uh, started by spamming out scouts and going with those uh, deer bounties. So I have a big master. And then I could have blocked off these areas to help my villagers farm in peace. Yeah, maybe next time I'll do that. Yeah, the Muscovites bravely held their capital in the face of an overwhelming Mongol onslaught. Oh no, there's another one. But now an even larger army had arrived oh, no. on Moscow's doorstep. I just running out of time. Dmitri ordered his army to hold back the Mongols long enough for Moscow's citizens to escape. All the city wants to do It is now a good time to call it. Let's do it. Dimitri's call for support was answered by the vassal town, which sent all the troops it could spare. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, Spearmen, knights, and musketeers. Oops, did not mean to pause there. Dmitri and his men held the city, giving some of Moscow's citizens time to flee. But despite their steadfast defense, the Rus could hold out no longer, and the capital succumbed to the vast numbers of the Horde. Toktamish Khan sacked the city, plundering its riches and slaughtering any Muscovites that remained. Prince Dmitri had no choice but to take flight, abandoning his home. Rus independence would have to wait. <laughs> Is 
not even a victory, it's just mission complete. Ugh. After the devastating sacking of Moscow, Prince Dmitri was once again forced to submit to the Khan. The struggle for independence would pass to future princes. I didn't actually get the achievement, did I? No, I did not. So I'd have to probably do it on a lower difficulty and just build walls early. <laughs> 